This is the governor's second trip, or it will be today. What else do you think he should be doing? Well, actually, the governor has never attended Ground Zero. He's never been on the grounds with these young people who are absolutely hurt and angry. In fact, when he was here the other evening, he was in Florissant, not Ferguson. And he was only here for about five minutes and he left. So he didn't even listen to the concerns of his citizenry. But the governor has been absent when it comes to minority communities in the state of Missouri, not only for a few years, but for a few decades in his service to the Missourians um, and the people who I represent. So what do, you, what do you want the governor to say today when he visits? The governor needs to roll up his sleeves and he needs to go to ground zero. He needs to listen to these young people and their frustration. We have been protesting now for four days. Today is number five or six and he's not shown up. He's not listened to any of the concerns of young people and they're frustrated and they're mad. They've been harassed and they've been intimidated by authority. And we frankly believe not only has St. Louis County police officers, but also the Missouri Highway Patrol, we believe that they have used excessive force. And for that reason, we want to expand the investigation, have the Department of Justice expand the investigation into seeing how protesters have been treated in peaceful demonstrations. And I do understand you were tear gassed at a protest on Monday during what you call a peaceful protest. You confronted the Ferguson police chief about that. Let's listen. I just wanted to know if I was going to be gassed again like I was on Monday night. And I was peaceful. And I'm your state senator and I was gassed. And we couldn't get out. And we were peacefully sitting. I just want to know if I'm going to be gassed again. I hope not. Um, and hopefully you were not, um, but people are still getting tear gassed. Um, if anything, the situation yes, last... seems to be escalating. You know, and I know you want the U.S. Justice Department to expand the investigation, but some people are saying maybe they should call in the National Guard or something like that. Well, we definitely need some federal intervention at this point. And I'll say last night, we were gassed again. In fact, the entire world has seen what has happened last night. And you would think that you were in Iraq. I was in Iraq in 2010, and we were fired upon in Iraq in 2010. And nothing that has happened in Iraq in the last couple of years looked like what happened last night. And for that, it's disgusting. And for the governor to be missing in action is absolutely absurd.